I'm Ben Esposito. I'm the creator of Dona County. I've been working on it uh, by myself mostly for a couple of years. So ben, what are you showing new here with Donut County at PSX? Uh, so I'm showing, well, we just announced it's on PS4, um, which is a really big deal, really excited about it. Um, we have the, you know, originally it was kind of like mouse and touchscreen controls, but now we kind of redid the controls for the DualShock 4. Um, so I think it feels really great. And we're showing a little bit of new story stuff and it's coming together. If you don't know what Donut County is, kind of give a brief uh, summary of what this game's all about. So Donut County is a game where you play as a hole in the ground. Very groundbreaking. Uh, no, it's like a, it's just a physics game, um, kind of inspired by Katamari Damacy in the sense of like you start quite small and then everything you put in the hole, it gets bigger and bigger. Um, and then there's a bunch of puzzles because uh, the things you put in the hole like sometimes cause different things to come out. Maybe you can set the hole on fire, fill it with water, uh, shoot things back out, et cetera, et cetera. So what are some of the challenges when making a game? Is this 100% by yourself or do you have like friends that help with music and assets or is it just all you? It's like 99% by myself. <laughs> uh, so the hardest part is um, figuring out what I'm doing. <laughs> because like the thing I wish is, is I could ask someone, hey, should this be red or blue? And then they're like, I don't know, blue. But instead I have to come up with like, yeah, no, that thing's blue. And here's why. <laughs> no. In fact, red red bleeds on LCD screens, so blue's better. There you go. It's blue. <laughs> Thank you. You just solved the problem for me. <laughs> yeah, red tends to bleed on 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 TVs. So, do, what, what game engine are you coding the game in? It's made in Unity, and it's a. I think it's been a really good fit. Like, it's a very kind of Unity game. Uh, it uses their physics implementation, and didn't take too much wrangling to get it started. Although, you know. Physics engines don't want a hole in the ground. <laughs> they really hates that. Um, so it's been a lot of kind of like finesse of making that feel really good. So talk about uh, have what, uh, talk about working in Unity and what has the company provided you any tech and support to help make this game a reality? Um, so far, I haven't need, needed much support from them in terms of like uh, I'm kind of following all their rules and you know using the constraints of the engine uh, to my benefit. Um, and you know the fact that it's cross-platform is like saved my life as as an indie because I don't have time to do any of that other stuff. Um, so it's been it's been a great ride so far. So, how long have you been working on this game? <laughs> like from the day de development into the thing, how long? Okay, the very first day of development was like 2012. It was like early 2012 was the first prototype, um, and that's when I had the hole in the ground, and it was supposed to be a joke. It was only a weekend. I was going to finish it. And then once I moved the hole around, put stuff in it, I was like, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> and so I started in earnest in 2013, and it's been yeah, like full time on that ever since. What advice would you give to an aspiring you know, person who wants to be a game designer or create games? Where, 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 where would they start? OK, here's the hard part. Any advice I would give myself like five years ago, I wouldn't follow. But if you were, if you're listening, me from five years ago, you, the first step is to make something as small as you can manage. And it's hard because like you're ambitious, you want to make something cool. But the smaller and like smaller scope, uh, the more manageable it is, the more you can finish it, and then you can have the morale to make another one. And you learn a lot along the way. So I like, I went for something huge for my first game that I'm doing by myself, uh, and it took a, it was a lot of pain. <laughs> So when did your game come out? Uh, it comes out 2018. Uh, that's all we've said so far, but hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Almost there. Almost there. It's almost there.